It's so unnerving seeing all of your faces. Uh, <laughs> let's fix that. Uh, <laughs> You're great. Uh, I think my other my other issues, and I'm I'm quite I feel like I'm quite picky, right? So that like dating apps and stuff don't really work well for me, because you know they'll seem nice in, in the app, and then I'll go meet up with them, and within 30 seconds I'm like, oh fuck, I hate you. <laughs> and so you know the rest of the date is quite awkward. Uh, like you know, so maybe a guy will come pick me up in his car or something, and we'll go, go to a cafe or something, and he, you know, he'll drive up and be like, "Oh, I'm sort of getting to know him and not liking it." And he'll pull up to the cafe and be like, "Oh, should we go?" And I just want to be like, "Can I just wait in the car?" <laughs> you know, you go, <laughs> leave the radio on. Um, it's sort of like when your mum goes to Bunnings, that sort of situation. Except no one gets a sausage. Uh, <laughs> one clap. Uh, it's, no, one at a time. It's uh, good. I uh, yeah, and so I've had to work out this sort of escape plan on, on dates, and you can you can use this, right? If you're, if you're ever on a date with someone and they're quite boring, right? What you do, you know, you just sit at a table, you just slowly inch your seat away. Just very, very slowly, just inch by inch, uh, until you're back home again. <laughs> Works every time, and you get a free chair. So. 